Hey Snappers, what is up? And welcome back to my channel, Heather in A. So snap your fingers, baby, I'll come running. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be telling you my most favorite moments of 2018 and my not so favorite moments of 2018. But before we get started, I feel like I'm not festive enough. So I will be right back. One second. There we go. That looks so much better. Wait a second. Where, where are my glasses? These are not cool enough. I'll be right back. That is so much better. This is just what we needed, guys. These glasses and this hat represents it all. It says it all right there. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with my worst moment of 2018, and that was when I got in a massive car accident. It all started one day after school when I was on my way to Flower Child to get some food for me and my family. On my way to Flower Child, there was a lot of traffic that day, like a lot of traffic. I was like a foot away from the right-hand turn lane to go into the parking lot, park my car, and then go into Flower Child and order some food. But the person in front of me stopped really quickly, so then I had to stop really quickly so I didn't run into that person. But the car behind me didn't see that I stopped. And I literally saw him heading towards my car through my rear view mirror, and I could tell he was not slowing down. So at that point, I literally couldn't do anything. I looked around, I was like, I can't do anything. I'm completely stopped. There's nowhere for me to go. So I just clenched onto the driver's wheel and really braced myself for what was about to hit me. And he hit me going like pretty fast, like 35 to 40 miles an hour. That obviously didn't really hurt me too badly, but my car was totaled. Luckily, when he ran into me, I didn't really get hurt all that much. My back hurt, but nothing really else happened to me. That was definitely one of the worst moments of my life because at the time, I also got fired from my job and was not getting the best grades all around the same time. Luckily, I think that was the only bad thing that ever happened to me in 2018, and the rest are all good. So yeah, let's get on to the good side about 2018. So 2018 was really like a growing year for me, I feel like, because I really felt like I grew as a person, and I found a lot more better quality friends this year and met so many great people this year that have been so amazing to me. And it's including you guys, my fans. Thank you so much. We're family. You guys are like literally family to me. This year you guys came up to me a lot actually when I was out with my friends or just out and about and you're like, oh my gosh, it's Heather in a snap. And I took photos with some of you guys and it was the best thing ever. I just, I love it when you guys come and say hi. If you ever see me, come and say hi. I'd be so happy to come and talk to you and take a photo with you if that's what you'd like. It was just amazing from that standpoint. Like I made so many great friends and met so many great people this year and I'm so blessed to have you all and all of them in my life, really. I went to Canada for the first time in 2018 and I loved that trip. Like that trip was probably my favorite trip out of all of the ones I've taken so far because I don't know I just felt like it was so much fun because we had all of our family like reunited and we just all get along so well and we did so many fun things there it was so much fun I loved that trip like if I can go back to a moment in my life that would definitely be one of the moments I'd pick to one of the biggest football games at my school. When I went there, I was just going with my friends and I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. Like I was just going there just to watch the football game, obviously, like I didn't really expect anything else. So we have this one section at the football game where all of the teenagers will sit in and I was walking by there with my friend and one of the seniors called my name and I know some seniors and some juniors that sit there, but I don't usually sit there just because it's too crazy and you have to get there super early to sit there. So I just didn't sit there, but they were like, Heather, come here, come here. We want to take a video of you, Heather. So they had me get up 
on the bleachers stand on one of the taller bleachers and they took videos of me it was insane it was so much fun i was so shocked that that happened i was not expecting that at all and i was really shocked i was like what is happening like what is happening to me it was one of the greatest moments of my life because i really felt loved and appreciated and if people didn't do that i'd still feel loved and appreciated but i just in that moment i was like i am so blessed like when that happened to me in that very moment i was like i am so blessed this is such a blessing So after that happened, I was crowned homecoming queen, and I'm not at all bragging about any of this. I'm just sharing you the moments that really impacted my life, and this was definitely one of them. I actually didn't know I was crowned homecoming queen until like the second or third voting because on Snapchat, they'll have you scan a QR code on the announcements, and after it links you to the website, you vote on who you want to be homecoming king and queen, and my Snapchat wasn't working for the first one or two times that they had it up there. I couldn't vote the first time and I couldn't vote the second time and I had no idea I was even on the ballot. Like I didn't even see the ballot, no one said anything. And this girl in my school came up to me and she's like, hey Heather, who'd you vote for for homecoming king and queen? And I was like, oh, I didn't get to vote because my Snapchat wasn't working. And I was like, what about you? Who'd you vote for? She's like, I voted for you. I'm like, what? Like I thought she was joking. I literally thought she was joking. I was like, what? No, you're joking. She's like, no, I'm serious. I'm like, that can't be possible. She's like, it, it's possible. It happened. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. And so I vote the next time because I was just completely oblivious. I never, I always hear things last second. I promise you. Like, I don't know how this happened, but it did. So I was one of the three choices on the ballot and I ended up winning 90% of the votes. How is that even possible? Like the other two girls that were running, I thought for sure would win because they're more popular than me. I was like, who are these people? So I looked them up to see who I was running against. And I was like, oh geez, yeah, these girls are like so pretty and they're popular. Like I've seen them in the popular groups. I was like, there's no way I'm winning. Like at least I'm even on the ballot. I was so happy that I was even on the ballot. Like you have no idea. I was just like, this is so cool. Like I was just so happy about that. And when I won 90% of the vote, I was flipping out. Like I told my parents and my parents couldn't even believe it. They were like, what? You're joking. You're literally joking. Heather, you got to be kidding. I'm like, I'm not kidding. You just got to believe me. Like, I'm not kidding. And they were so happy about it, but they were so shocked too. Cause I'm not like the popular type. You know what I mean? Like I'm not really that popular, but I'm nice to everyone. For the most part, I'm nice to everyone. I kind of stepped back for a minute and I was like, wow, this is like crazy. Like, this is really crazy. This is happening. I was supposed to work the day of homecoming because I didn't want to go to homecoming. I never wanted to. Like, I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to go to homecoming. But since I was voted homecoming queen, I was like, I kind of have to go. I kind of want to go now that I'm voted for homecoming queen. So I called in and I told them I couldn't because I was homecoming queen. I got someone to cover my shift and that was crazy. That was the best moment of my life this year. Like that was so surreal so crazy to me it just means a lot to me so thank you guys so much for whoever voted for me like that was so freaking sweet and i will remember that forever like that was amazing and that made me so happy like so happy Thank you guys so much for watching. This was my worst and best moments of 2018. And I really hope you enjoyed this little story time 2018 video. If you guys like this video, please smash that thumbs up for me and comment down below what you thought was surprising to you. And please press that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get notified on what I'm posting next. I post every two weeks on Wednesdays. So keep your eye out for that. And with that said, let's make 2019 the best year yet. Love you, snappers. Have a great day. So snap your fingers. Baby,
Y'all come running. Thriller, Ooh, thriller night.